Good morning, Commissioners, morning. Fire Chief Terraza, City Attorney Ms. Iniguez, Eric Scott, Captain 2 and Public Information Officer. Uh, today we are honoring two outstanding firefighter paramedics for their successful and skillfully saving the life of a one-year-old boy that was choking. So at this point, we're honored to invite up these two members, firefighter paramedics, Mat Matsakuza, Matsura, and Frank Bish. And we'll give you a little incident uh, rundown. It took place in the morning at 6.30 on February 2nd of this year at a home in El Sereno. When assessment engine 15 arrived on scene, they found a panicked mother that was holding her precious one-year-old baby boy, Zayden Medina, who had a partially obstructed airway, which she identified as being a rubber ball. Well, the firefighters on scene, they jumped into action. They strategically held uh, Zayden in one arm with his face down. They started to initiate back blows to remove that foreign body from the baby's mouth. But despite their best intentions, they proved to be unsuccessful in doing so. Now, RA-47 and these two members came on scene. They took over the care of this dear young patient that was rapidly deteriorating. At this time, the color had completely left uh, Zayden's face. He was now white, and what was originally a partially obstructed airway had become fully obstructed and with just agonal respirations. So fortunately, these two jumped into action. Firefighter Matsura carefully lied the patient's supine on the gurney, elevated the patient's head, while Firefighter Bish skillfully used what's called a laryngoscope to lift open the baby's mouth, to peer inside. And at that point, Matsura was able to visualize the obstruction. He then used another tool called McGill forceps where they're able to reach into that baby's mouth and with surgical precision, remove that foreign body, that round ball from that baby's mouth. Now, baby Zayden was still unable to breathe, so they continued. They worked seamlessly. They immediately initiated rescue breaths via a bag valve mask to start to breathe for the child. And fortunately, after less than one minute, he began spontaneous respirations on his own while being transported to the hospital. Now, I know many are wondering how that child is doing, so we are happy to state that EMS2 visited the family on March 6th, and the patient was doing very well but don't take my word for it. We're happy to have them here today, and we're gonna invite inside Father Angel Medina and Mother Jessica LaRusso and their child to meet these members. Zayden just awarded me a junior firefighter badge. <laughs> well, Masa and Frank, um, it must be exhilarating to see what your actions can do on scene of emergencies. Uh, many times, most of the time, in fact, when we go on scene and we treat the patient and we transport to the hospital, we really don't know the outcome. We hope for the best, and then we become available for the next run. But every now and then, we get an incident where you see immediate changes, and uh, time is of the essence when you have somebody choking, especially a one-year-old child. Uh, there's added um, pressure, there's added stress, um, but they came through like the true professionals they are, did their job, and saved a life, literally saved Zayden's life. And it's my hope for Zayden that he grows up and becomes a firefighter paramedic for the Los Angeles Fire Department. I think that would make us all very proud. I think he agrees too. So I'd like to have, uh, Masa, would you like to come up to say a few words? 
You don't have to. No? no? Okay, Frank. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I'm Angel. I'm the father of Zayden. And uh, I just want to say thank you. If it wasn't for them, my son wouldn't be here right now. And just appreciate everything you guys do for us. Thank you. Thank you.